Hi friends, welcome to 30 Ink, 30 Days, day 12. I'm feeling a little meh today, but here we're, we're doing it anyway. We're doing it live. Um, start off looking at yesterday, which was turquoise. Let's see if it still smells. Yeah, it still smells like vanilla. It's great. There it is dried. Such a bright and fun ink. So, um, but that was yesterday. It's gone. Today, you know, I, I was like, hey, to my partner, hey, can you choose a, an ink for me? He's like, which do I have to choose from? And I hand him this, and he basically just did like a cut and went to one. And I really, I really like what he came up with. So he chose Troublemaker Abalone. And I chose my Twisby Mini and Mint, which looked like a pretty good choice. And then the drink is more or less a jungle bird. This is supposed to be like blended. I don't have time for that. Let's try it. I like that. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Now, I didn't actually totally follow the recipe, so whatever. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> I'll write down what I did, though. This one, like, the piston doesn't want to move sometimes. I gotta, like, it's like it gets stuck down there. Okay. Okay, this is like way too full. These things happen. <laughs> it reminds me of my early days in fountain pens when somehow the internet convinced me that I was supposed to get pens that to fill the pot most possible fullness that they could. Why? I don't need that. Turns out I don't want that. So today's ink is Troublemaker, abalone, and the pen is the Twisby Mini, I don't know what that dot is, mint with a broad nib, and the drink is the Jungle Bird. Okay, Maria, if, this girl is a mess. Had to run in. Well, by run, I mean like walk at a leisurely pace to, <laughs> to go get my automatic pen and blah, blah, blah. I feel like I haven't used these troublemaker inks in a while. You know, they're a bit finicky. But they're lovely. Oh, look, I cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it. And yet. Okay. Should be better. Okay. Better ish.
Okay. Over here. Over meow. And I ate some food earlier and then it felt sick afterwards, but I think I'm okay. Fingers crossed. Dear Ink, 30 days. April 2024, day 12. I hope I said day 12. If not, well, we'll figure it out. Purple Maker, Abalone, Twisby, Mammy, Mint, Rod, although it doesn't write Super B, does it? This writes kind of M for a B. Oh, okay, and we're gonna make splat happen. Somehow, this is a thing that we do. I thought about putting this, I have a pen that might be called something something abalone, but it wasn't the same color. And then I have another pen that's mother of pearl, and I was like, or, well, sort of, and I was like, that's kind of like abalone. Um, but here we are, I did this pen, because it looked like sort of a color match. Which reminds me of mm, 224, 254. I have it, we'll look it up. Mm. Look at it. There's some gold sheen. It only shows on this paper. There's something I wanted to show you. Oh, look at that. From the right angle slash the wrong angle, shiny black is is like I didn't even see the black earlier. It was just shine. Anyway, that was only on this paper though. Do you like seeing it on all the papers? Um Jungle bird. <sighs> Should I get the actual ingredients, y'all? Okay. The reason I made this is because I have pineapple juice. And I was like, let's find a drink of pineapple juice. Again, it's supposed to be blended, but we're gonna put it the way I made it, okay? So, oh, two ounces pineapple juice. Half ounce lime juice. Then it's supposed to have a half ounce of um, this special sugar syrup. So I added a tablespoon of sugar, which is a lot. I should have put it less, it's very sweet, but it is delicious. Then three quarter ounces Campari. I don't have Campari or Aperol, so I used the other 
uh, similar aperitivo that I have. Oh. Well, it's supposed to be one and a half ounces. It says black blended rum. I accidentally used two ounces. That makes up for the sugar. So basically I didn't make this drink that's in the that's in the book. But I made a delicious drink that was inspired by it. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, wait, that looks... I'm not saying anything. We're going to come over here. Okay. Um... Have a loony. <laughs> okay. The splat's going to take a little longer to dry because it was pretty juicy in a couple spots, but it's looking really nice. You'll see it in a moment. This is one of those inks where you see the splat and you're like, wow, that's so pretty. I want my writing to look like that. And then like you use the ink and it just is like blue gray. So I was seeing this reminding me of 224 or 254. Two, two, four. Similar, the writing you can see, this is bluer. These three remind me of one another, and we can add this one here over near Rota Bronze. They're like relatives. They're in the same family, but they're legally distinct. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, right on. So that was today let this fall a little. I like this splat. It's attractive. So, abalone. Have you ever eaten abalone? I don't know if I did. I think it was at um, a Chinese wedding I went to, but I can't remember if I actually ate it. I think I was intimidated by it because... I'm intimidated by food sometimes. Such is life. Are you also intimidated by food sometimes? <laughs> Let me know. I um, hope whenever you're watching this, look at this. These look like two different colors. Yeah. Whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.